and welcome back. Etienne, have you ever taken off without paying for something? I once walked out of the restaurant without paying because it completely slipped my mind. Mm-hmm. But before you start chiding me, I went back to settle the bill the moment I realised my mistake. After all, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Well said, Etienne. There are people out there, however, who aren't quite as living minded as you. The woman in this video actually walked out of a salon with treatment cream on her hair and her head wrapped in a towel, all just so she could avoid paying the $177 for her dye job. Stombasi, who owns the salon in Singang, describes how the woman planned and executed everything very smoothly. C tells us how the woman inquired about the cost of the dye job, then asked if she could pay by nets and actually opened her wallet. When the dye job was almost complete, the woman said she had to go to the toilet urgently and never came back. C is devastated by the woman's unlawful act and is appealing to members of the public who might have seen her before. When a man saw the humour in the situation and commented, Die, die, must die. While others dispense advice on how to deal with cheats like this, Subaru Rusty says, My solution will be when they want to go off momentarily, then I will request for deposit or their personal IC, then the person can go. Horatio Sugarcane came up with another solution. Build a toilet bowl on the salon chair so she has no excuse to leave the place. Now, in the next case, the tables are turned as an unhappy customer recounts the salon woes to us. Stompa Farah returned to Team Salon at Vivo City to get her hair retouched as she felt it was imbalanced. Her left side was apparently thicker and shorter than her right. But according to Farah, her hairdresser appeared unhappy at the request for her touch-up and proceeded to cut her hair again without comparing both sides. Farah was also upset that her requests in English could not be understood by the stylist who spoke only Mandarin. And she wonders if Team Salon prepares their foreign staff with basic English language lessons for easy communication with the customer and to prevent misunderstandings. As Nan is perfect put it, some stuff just anyhow do lah. Just want money. Consumer not happy is another topic. Not really professional. Well, looks like the festive period was anything but quiet, huh? The drama continues in our next clip, which features plenty of skin. You won't be disappointed.